This is the easiest way you can fine tune a Llama 2 model on your own dataset. We will do it with a single line of code using auto train library from Hugging Face. The best part is you can fine tune any model you want using the exact same line of code. In order to run this locally on your own machine, you will need to download the auto train advanced package from Hugging Face GitHub repo. I'll put a link in the description of the video. All you need to do is to run this command pip install auto train dash advanced. You will need a Python version greater than 3.8 for this to work. Uh, you will also need an NVIDIA GPU uh, in order to fine tune a model. Now, if you don't have an GPU, you can always try the free Google Colab. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. Okay, so let me show you how to run this using a Google Colab. First, you need to go to runtime. Make sure that you are running a GPU runtime. Okay, after that, simply run the first uh, cell. So this will install the auto train advanced package as well as the hugging face help package. Sometimes uh, it will ask you to restart the runtime uh, after just following this. So you need to go ahead and restart your runtime. Now, if you're running this on Google Colab specifically, you probably want to the, run this auto train setup uh, hyphen hyphen update torch. If you run it locally, you probably don't need to do this. Okay, after that, we need to actually provide our Hugging Face token. For that, you need to go to your Hugging Face account, go to settings, and then click on access tokens. And here, uh, you can create a new token if you want, or I already have a token, so I'm going to just copy that. And then go back uh, to my Google Colab, put that token in there, and then hit login. Okay, so here you can see we have successfully logged into Hugging Face. Now, in order to find you the model, we are going to be using this single line of code. Well, don't worry if it looks complicated. I will walk you through it step by step. Okay, so let's break this down. So this is exactly the same line of code, but I br broke it down into multiple parts so that it's, it's easier to understand. Now, we start with auto train that is the uh, package that we're using uh, we have this exclamation mark uh, since we are running it you, within the google colab environment if you are not running it in google colab you don't have to put that in terminal just uh, remove this next we have an llm flag in here the auto train uh, package uh, is not limited to training or fine tuning large language models only uh, it's a package from Hugging Face, which you can use to fine tune other types of models, including computer vision models or neural network models uh, using the tabular data sets, right? So we need to specifically tell it that we want to use or fine tune a large language model. Next, we have this train flag. So it tells it that we want to train a model. Uh, and after that, we need to provide a project name in this specific case, I'm uh, calling my project Llama2 Open Assistant. So I'm going to be using uh, a data set from Open Assistant to fine tune my model. Next, we need to define which model we want to fine tune or retrain. Uh, and that is defined using the uh, model flag. So in this specific case, I'm using Llama2 7B and I'm using the sharded version because I don't have enough VRAM to load the whole model at once. Uh, in my Google Colab notebook. That's why I'm going to be using the sharded version. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that this method is not limited to fine tuning Llama models only. You can literally pick any model available on Hugging Face and use the exact same code to fine tune that model. Now, another thing to keep in mind that it's not the official version. Somebody was kind enough to create a sharded version uh, from the original Llama models, right? And there are a lot of people who have done those, uh, so you can pick any one you want. Okay, so the next uh, thing that we need to take care of is what data set that we want to use to fine tune this model. So we'll have to provide uh, the name of the data set uh, or the path to actually the data set using the data underscore path flag. You can uh, provide data sets using two different ways. The easiest one is to simply upload your data uh, to Hugging Face and just use the repo ID for that uh, data set. So if you look here, I'm using the Open Assistant Go On Code data set. Or if you want to use your own data set, which is uh, present locally, 
and you're running this locally, you can simply provide the path of the folder in which the data set is located. So it expects a data set in the form of a CVSV file, but the path to the uh, data is going to be part of the folder. You don't want to include the file name uh, when you're providing the path. Now, the only thing you need to be worried about is what is going to be the format of the data set. So I'm going to be looking at two different examples of two different data sets available on Hugging Face that you can use with this model. So the first one is Alpaca 4 GPT and it has 52,000 rows or 52,000 examples. Now if you, if you look at this data set, uh, it has four columns, instruction, input, output, and then a text column, which basically combines uh, these three columns with a system message range. So if you look here, there's this special token for instruction. So that is the instruction uh, in the first column. And then since there is no input in this specific example, there is a special token for response. And here is the response that the model is supposed to generate, right? So you have input or instructions and uh, what is going to be the output from the model. Now we can look at uh, some other examples as well. For example, here uh, you have three different columns present and then uh, using the text column, you are simply combining everything together. So this is a typical Alpaca dataset format uh, and the model actually expects things in the Alpaca format, right? So you, what you want to do is you want to have a single uh, column that actually puts everything together. So in this case, we are simply calling it a text column. You can call it whatever you want, but by default, it's looking uh, to this text column. Now, here is another example, and this is the one that we're using. So the Open Assistant Go on Co data set. In this case, it has almost 10,000 uh, different sample or examples. Now, if you look at this, it's following a very similar uh, format. So here's a special token, that's the human, and then response from the assistant, right? So you can easily see uh, throughout this data set, you are going to see this format. So you have uh, your human and then there's going to be a corresponding assistant response, right? So you want to format your data set in exactly the same way. It doesn't matter what you call these, but you want to uh, use these special tokens with it in order for the model to inference like what is the input and what is output. Okay, one more thing uh, that I want to highlight is uh, the format that we're looking at is very different than the original prompt template from uh, Llama 2. So if you look at the prompt template from Llama 2 chat models, here is the uh, uh, format that they use. But the format that these data sets are uh, available in, or you will need to format your own data set is going to be very different. And the reason is very simple. We are actually fine tuning the base model, not the chat model. And since the base model is not following this specific prompt format, you get to decide uh, what uh, your uh, data is going to look like. So after that, um, we are defining the text column to use. So by default, it's going to be looking at a column named text, but you can call it whatever you want and use that in here. After that, uh, we are using the use pef uh, flag that means the model itself is going to be using the uh, parameter efficient uh, fine-tuning methods for fine-tuning the models. This is a method proposed by Hugging Face, and now we're using uh, it in four bits, so we're not uh, using the full precision. After that, we are defining the learning rate. So the learning rate basically controls um, the speed of conversion during training process. You can set it to a lower uh, value, so that will take longer, uh, but it will converge better. Uh, the rest of the parameters you can set depending on the hardware that you have. So you can set the uh, train batch size. So since I'm running this on Google Colab, I'm using a value of two. Uh, for a smaller data sets, I have found that using a value of four seems to work, right? But it really depends on um, how many GPUs you have, what's the VRAM for each GPU and you can select it based on that. After that, we need to define the number of training epochs. I'm using three, but uh, again, depending on the data set, you probably want to use a higher number here. Now, the trainer that we're using is SFT. So this is supervised fine tuning. Uh, essentially, we're providing uh, the data set in input output format, right? 
and that's why we're using the um, SFT for uh, trainer. Next, we are defining the model max length. Now, if you recall, the new Llama 2 models have a context window of uh, 4096 tokens. I'm defining a much shorter uh, context window in order to speed up the training process. None of the tokens that I'm using uh, in this data set are actually more than 2048, uh, and that's why we're simply using a, a much shorter uh, max than tokens, right? Now, if you want to push this to Hugging Face Hub in your, your own account, so you can use this push to hub flag. For that, you will need to uh, provide the repo ID. So in my account, I'm going to be creating another uh, repo or model uh, that's going to be called Llama 2 Open Assistant, right? And once the training process is complete, it will simply push that uh, to this specific repo ID. Now keep in mind that since it's fine tuning pretty large language model, it will take a long time for the model to appear in your own Hugging Face account. You can expect uh, at least an hour or so, depending on the internet speed that you have uh, for this to show up in your uh, Hugging Face account. Uh, so be mindful of that. Then we are simply defining the block size and we also want to uh, store all the training logs. So that's how you fine tune a large language model using your own uh, training data set uh, using a single line of code. So in this case, if you look, it's still going through the uh, training process. So it's going through the um, tokenization of my current data set. Now I selected a relatively large data set. So this is going to take a while. Uh, it seems like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be here for a while, right? So I'll probably not be able to include the final model. However, uh, I want to show you this. So uh, during the training process, here's what you will actually see. Uh, so it will create this uh, project folder. So it's the same, same name as our project name, right? And then it will keep track of whatever is happening during the training process. Right now it's going through the tokenization process. But once the training is complete, you will see a config.json file uh, as well as a tokenizer and the model file in here uh, in this folder. And then you can use the transformer library uh, to load uh, the tokenizer, the model, and do inference or prediction on top of those. Or since we enabled pushing it to Hugging Face, so you will be able to see the model after a while in your Hugging Face account. And again, you can use the transformer package to uh, download the model and you start using it on your load local machine. So that's how you fine tune a large language model on your own data set using this powerful auto train uh, package. Only thing you need to actually do is to provide your own data set. So in an upcoming video, I will show you a process of how you can create your own data sets rather than using those available uh, on Hugging Face. And then for that, we are going to be probably using TBD4 along with the code interpreter. So keep an eye out for that video. Now, just to reiterate, you will actually need a powerful GPU for this to work uh, because if you're running this on a free Google Colab, it probably will time out on you unless you have a very small data set. If you run into any issues uh, or you want to discuss different fine tuning methods, check out uh, the Discord server in uh, the description of the video. We have a very active community who are helping each other out. If you need help with fine tuning your own model, or would like to discuss those with me, check out my Canly link in the description of the video. I hope this video was helpful. Consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one.